Hello guys, Tiger Blow Neil here once again. Coming to you live from my daughter's playhouse. It's pretty cool, isn't it? This is where I'm going to start doing my vlogs and stuff on Newcastle, but unfortunately, this isn't the best day to do a vlog on Newcastle. I mean, what the hell was that? I mean, I don't even know where to start. It's like, I didn't even watch the game to be honest. I've just been, I was following it on Facebook through the uh, Facebook pages in Newcastle one and there's a couple of other Newcastle pages that you can follow it on. And honestly, when I found out that we were 1-0 down, I mean, this was Newcastle against Huddersfield. Before the game, I think the fans got asked to come half an hour early before the kickoff to like get a load of the flags and wave the flags everywhere and stuff to support the team. 52,000 people uh, attending today at the match. And it's just crazy to think in a championship match there's 52,000 people coming to watch it. And you expect a bit more. I mean, you know, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna like just go crazy and just like kick off for them and say how oh, shit one, but uh, but what oh, shit at the minute war. Well, I mean, I don't know what it is. I don't know whether it's because the team, you know, recently we've we've signed like eight nine players, you know, and it's the second game in. You've got to give them a time to adapt to, you know, follow how Rafa wants them to play, listen to him. But it's still not working by the looks of it. I mean, they've had plenty of time in the training. What they're doing training-wise, I don't know. Is it just not gelling there? Is it gelling there, but they can't bring it onto the pitch? I don't know what's going on. But we're lost again. That's two losses in a row, first two games. In the table, I know it's dead early. There's over 40, there's like 44 games ago or whatever. But the table looks horrendous. I had a look at it before. And we are like... We're, out, we're not in the relegation zone, but we've got no points. It's like goal difference, that's keeping them out. And a few of the other teams up the top have got six points, have won both the games, so already we're on the back burner. I know it's dead early, people will say it's really early, but it would have been nice for her to come out to start the championship. Oh, sorry, that's my dog. And um, yeah, to start the championship and then. We're all guns blazing and get a couple of wins to start off, but it didn't work out like that and it's just one of them things. But, you know, what? what's more worrying is with defence, I mean, the two goals that were scored, What the first one was just a simple pass, a simple square pass, and with defender, he just slipped, he fell over trying to win the ball, and then it was a simple tapping for them, for Huddersfield, so... And then, after that, I was thinking, oh no, is it going to be... Two, three, because I'm always wondering where we're going to score. At the minute, still last season I was thinking that, and even this season as well. And we might get the firepower back when Mitrovic comes off his suspension, but I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what to think yet. But yeah, it was one 0 and I was like, oh no, is it going to be a disaster again? Or we're not going to score. And luckily, we got like a ridiculous penalty claim. I, I, it was luck. It was really, really lucky that we got the penalty. But we got it. You know, Dwight Gale steps up. Hits it to the goalkeeper's right. The goalkeeper makes an amazing save, but luckily for us, it comes straight back to Dwight Gale and he just taps it in with his head. So that makes up 1 1. And it's like 52,000 people in the stadium, you know, cheering 1. Can we do it? Can we make a comeback? Can we win the game? And. Nah, we, we can't. Basically, they go up the other end later on in the game. And I don't know what the defender's doing, I don't know what he's doing. He's just. He lets, the, he lets the player get a shot and he should be diving and trying to block the shot, but he doesn't. And it goes into the bottom corner of the net, and that's 2-1. And that's the game. There wasn't really... We didn't create much either, which is quite worrying. It's, uh, I, like I say, I don't, I don't want to be too harsh yet on the players or the team because I'm supporting them. I don't want to be one of them, them supporters who are like, oh no, it's over after two games, we're, we're terrible. But we need, we need to pick it up now. We do really need to pick it up now. There's two games out the way. I haven't made a good start. We need to get some points on the board quick. Quick. Because this the championship is unpredictable. You don't know what to expect. Like We can't just think that we're going to get up and get promoted again straight away. It's not like 2010 when we came back up straight away. You know, things have changed. The team's changed. A lot's happened since then. But what do you guys think? What, what do you think of Newcastle at the minute? Are we capable of doing it? Can we get more points? Will we have a good cup run this season? I hope we do. Give the video a like, subscribe to the channel. This has been Tiger Blood and I'll see you later. Bye bye.